Lots of money. That's what I like. Lots of money. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Nate and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Judge, a top-down shooter basically based on objectives. Uh, you'll unlock some medals, get to upgrade your judge in a lot of different cool ways, and uh, overall I think it's really, really great. It's brought to you by Ten Tons Limited, who also made Neon Chrome, another fantastic game. Uh, they are quickly climbing to the top of my list. Look at this badass, he's got a gavel gun, he's got a powdered wig, and uh, he's ready to bring the doom, so let's do just that. Here we are, the dawn of judgment, and uh, apparently some people have gathered around with umbrellas to watch the murder. Hooray! Welcome to the show! So we've got to get in there, rescue those hostages. A lot of walls are breakable, unfortunately not uh, the ones that are outside, necessarily. There we go, a little bit of surprise attack, also got that, uh, oh, 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 I'm on fire. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. That's alright. We'll just back it up, back it up, back it in, pack it in, pack it out. And uh, I'm not doing a great, a great deal of damage um, to the enemies, but just enough to kill them. I'm at half health, so I will rescue these citizens. Come to the exit, and you have to protect them on the way to the car. If they end up dying, uh, you will fail the mission. If they are the main objective, some other objectives are like kill, uh, kill this crime boss or whatever, and. Uh, that's generally, you know, you, you don't care if the citizens die in that case. Uh, the Judge Control Center, confiscate credits to unlock powerful gear and features. Hell yeah. So we've got our cybernetics lab here. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that now. And uh, that'll allow me to install some cyberware. Extra armor, citizen health plan, electrocute. Uh, I'm not sure why it says electrocyte. I guess... Why is you in this universe? So why are you playing this? Because it's fucking awesome. We'll go with the electrocute for now. And uh, you can also upgrade your gavel in a few different ways. Unfortunately, we need a few more medals to do that. How do you get medals, Dayton? Well, you go to the map. And uh, you can see we've got four acts with uh, four missions each. And basically, you can get six medals on each act. So we're going to do our best to try and uh, get that going. We'll start with the first one, house arrest, rescue the hostages, loot all containers, exit in 20 seconds. Generally, you're not going to be able to uh, complete all three of those objectives at the same time. So we'll go for loot all containers and rescue hostages to begin with. And uh, hopefully that's, that's going to work out just fine. Get out of here. Go to the car. And there's some, uh, some wall breakage, which is super cool. You can uh, create your own path, which is definitely useful. Oh boy. Don't want to get hurt. Don't want to get myself hurty. Oh god. Run, citizen! I shall protect you! I think I took a hit there, but that's fine. All citizens have been rescued. I'm going to go ahead and confiscate some more of these containers, if I may. Go ahead and kill that baddie. Digging through the trash lack the sort that he is and uh, we got the looter metal so those are all the containers we'll hit the car huzzah and that took me 50 seconds to do all that so it's uh relatively difficult to exit in 20 seconds if you're also doing the loot all containers so we could go back and uh, get that last metal exit in 20 seconds but first we're going to uh, equip the shotgun that's gonna be quite nice then you can just spray and pray. I don't need to worry about too much. Uh, fires a herd of hot lead. Very brutal at cro close range, as one would expect. So, there we go. House arrest is complete. We've got bank robbery. Um, yeah, we'll continue on to the next level. That's fine. Eliminate targets. Destroy all enemies. Don't take any damage. So, we might be able to do that. It seems relatively difficult. Let's see if we can do it all at once. That would be quite nice. I would enjoy that quite a bit. So, here we are. Headed to the bank. Got to do the thing. And, uh, just merc this dude real quick. Reload. Bam. Destroy all enemies. I will eliminate all enemies. I could burst through the wall there, but I'm kind of just scouting out the, the layout of the bank. 
to see what my best entry point would be. We can't get into the vault. Those walls are really, really thick. But that's okay. I'm gonna go in here. Hey, buddies. Oh, I got touched. I failed my untouched metal. And there my uh, electrocute doing a little bit of its work, which I think is quite nice. I'm trying to get through there. Come on. There we go. Just wanted to loot all these containers. Once you loot the containers, you can't do it again. Um, it would be a good way to farm money or something like that. But the best way to farm money is uh, completing the missions, getting new medals, things like this. Which I guess is the way that it should be, presumably. So get rid of this guy. Boop, boop. Easy. Easy day. And we got these big boys in the vault that we got to take care of. Oh, there's one more container over here. Don't mind if I do. And I got my blue key card, so let's open this on up. Oh boy. Mr. Pink, he's tough. Tougher than his name would imply. Alright, there you go. Eliminate targets completed. Here are some, uh, some chests that I need my hacking tool to get into, which is another piece of cyberware that will be unlocked at a later time. So, ooh, that's a good amount of money. <laughs> Let us skip forward in time just a little bit uh, once I complete this mission, and we'll see we'll see what sort of goodies Judge has to offer us. I'm sure there will be something quite nice. Yes. Don't take any damage. We almost got three medals in one, but uh, I guess that's okay. Shadow blend. Enemies can't see you while you remain in the dark. Okay. That sounds awesome. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward just a little bit. So as you can see, I've gone back, got quite a few medals. They do have a, a hardcore mode for each level, <clears throat> which is unlocked once you complete the first act, which wasn't too hard, all things considered. Um, loot all containers, don't take any damage. The objectives do change up just a little bit between the uh, normal and hardcore modes, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I've unlocked quite a few slots. I still have one more to go, but that's just fine. There are a good amount of, uh, of, um, cyber, cyberwares, I guess I'll call them. <laughs> um, so you saw these three at the beginning. I unlocked the Shadow Blend. After that was Liam the Laser Drone, which has stuck with me basically the entire time. Really, really awesome. Uh, Fast Legs helps to complete the levels that are like, get out of there in such and such seconds. So it really helps to customize your gear based on the mission that you're going for. Got a riot shield that will protect you from frontal damage. The hacking tool gets into those chests. Also, uh, some doors. Really, really useful as well for the, uh, the quickness of the missions. Got tactical view. Zoom out just a little bit. It, it's okay, you know. It'll do. Good heart, 150% more health. Hmm. I don't find myself using that just because of the perks that I put onto my gun, which I will show you shortly. Bullet dodger slows down enemy bullets. Shrinkify, you're 30% smaller. Fit into smaller spaces, become a smaller target. Aim height at crotch level, so you basically become odd job <laughs> from uh, Goldeneye. Uh, and then finally there's Chameleon, which is absolutely necessary for those missions that tell you don't get seen, which there are quite a few of those as well. So let's check out the gavel now. Those are the cyberwares for the judge. You can customize the gavel quite a bit more than you can customize the judge. Um, we've got Rapid Plasma, um, Ion Cannon basically shoots out a bolt of electricity that zaps things near it, but the damage is super, super low. I should probably upgrade that at some point. Plasma, short range but high damage bolts of plasma. It's pretty cool. Heavy laser bounces off walls, which is super nice and does uh, some quite some damage. Uh, shotgun, obviously my favorite. The crowd favorite, yes indeed. Although my lead bullets have been fully upgraded, I don't think that was the best choice that I could have made. It's relatively low damage compared to the shotgun, so if I had it to do again, I would pump it all into the shotgun, but hindsight is always 2020, ain't it? Oh well. You've also got your special, which is a shot with left click. Right now we have heavy rockets, which are my favorite. You've also got C4, but the heavy rockets take a little bit less planning, you know? You don't want to set the C4 and be like, hey, enemies, come this way. I'd rather just, you know, bring the explosive to you. I think that's rather nice. Um, flame grenades, pretty cool. Spawns a sea of deadly fire. 
Stun grenades stun enemies for a short time. Shock orb, similar to the ion cannon, just shoots out an orb of electricity that shocks things near it. And then we've got mechanical spiders, which are actually pretty nice when paired with the laser drone, because you can just uh, have a bunch of minions to do your fighting for you. Super nice. I will stick with heavy rockets for now. Um, and then the last thing you can upgrade on your gun is there are some perks, which uh, they're quite varied indeed. Reload plasma. Every time you reload, you shoot 360 degrees of plasma bolts. Citizen safe ammo, so your shots won't kill citizens. I think that's quite nice. I've killed quite a few citizens just by uh, trying to shoot an enemy with a shotgun and blasting them in the process. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Uh, killing heals. Obviously, you can kill an enemy, recover 10 HP. Really, really useful, especially since I don't have any HP boosters. Rapid fire, shoot faster. Sandman, stun enemies with your shots. Piercing lead. This is why I upgraded the, um, the machine gun to max level. I thought it would be really cool to shoot through walls. But really, you can just destroy the wall and end up shooting through it anyways. So it's, it's not, um, the greatest combo. It's not working out as well as I thought it would in my head. But that's okay. Extra specials. This is probably one of my favorites. More rockets. 50% more rockets. You start with three, this will give you five, which means uh, it's rounded down. But does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> It'll give you five. I'm not very good at math, also. <laughs> Power gavel. Increase melee damage by 300%. Melee deflect. That's really nice as well. Uh, you can pair those two together and go all melee for uh, one of those missions. There's a mission that's all melee. I can't quite recall what it is at the moment. Uh, long range, increased projectile range by 50%. Really nice for the shotgun, so you can get that really good spread, and uh, it deals pretty well with enemies, especially on the, the wide open levels. Finally, you've got Bull Shot. Knocks enemies back, um, and there are a lot of melee attackers that will come your way and try and beat the shit out of you. Some of them are really, really tough, so I think Bull Shot will be necessary for those guys. At the moment, right now, I'll just go for extra specials. And we'll see how that goes. I'm really satisfied with uh, the turnout of my judge and my gavel. Let's go for uh, chameleon. I don't necessarily need fast legs. I should probably spot out a mission first and then decide what my upgrades are going to be. So these first three missions, 100% complete. Really, really nice. We've got Riot on the Streets is uh, the next one up. Eliminate the leader. We've done that. Don't take any damage and destroy all enemies. I guess we can try not to take any damage and destroy all enemies. We could also do the normal mode and try and exit in 25 seconds. But since I've uh, gotten rid of my fast legs, we'll, we'll go for the hardcore. Don't take any damage, destroy all enemies. Oh, they don't take any damage. That's a hard one. And destroy all enemies for that matter. There seems to be quite a few special guys on this, on this stage. How's that? I don't want to let him destroy my drone. He did some pretty good damage to it. But that is the nice thing about the laser drone, is um, you'll end up kind of just hiding when you have your chameleon, chameleon-ness going. Go ahead and hack this chest. Ooh, that's a good amount of money. I like that a lot. There we go, another guy down. And let's go ahead and shoot through this wall. Whoa, buddy. Rockets coming through. A little more money to confiscate. Not all of the chests have a thousand in them, or uh, this game would be quite a bit easier. <laughs> but I'm quite grateful for the chests that do have a thousand, for the record. Uh, let's get this guy. Oh god, reloading, reloading. <laughs> okay, everything went okay. Liam the laser drone is about to bite the dust, so I will try and keep him a little safe. Oh lord. Quite a few coming through. That's alright. Deal with them one at a time. There's a little bit of a bullet hell aspect to this game, as you can see. Gotta keep yourself nice and healthy. Don't let them bullets hit you. It's a little bit harder than it seems. <laughs> All things considered. So, eliminate the leader. Where's the leader? Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Oh, there's Ray Ray. I'm going to try and dodge Ray Ray for now. And uh, there's the leader, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh god. Boom! Ah, he lost track of me because of my chameleon powers. 
Super nice. Oh, and I failed my untouched. The fucking leader got me. Well, that's okay. I could uh, try and eliminate all the targets. Even if I die, I will end up keeping the money that I've gotten thus far. So that's a, a nice little bonus. But like I said, the chests don't respawn either. So, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Go ahead and take this guy out. Ba-boop. Try and go down here. There's a couple more. Oh, look at all these fellas. Oh, destroy the ATM. Get some extra cash. Only $50, $50 in the ATM. That's not very good. It's a broke-ass bank. There we go. Shotgun showing off its true power against that little mini-boss fellow. He had a good amount of health, but I ate right through it. And I think uh, Ray Ray's the only, the only one we have left here. So let's see if we can... Oh god. <laughs> I blowed myself up with a rocket. Ray Ray is super tough. Um, those mini bosses are relatively hard to deal with. I think I might need the bull shot in order to deal with him. But yeah, the medals are super hard to get, obviously. I was able to do these three, but it was basically a farce. <laughs> uh, we've got destroy all enemies, don't get spotted. Chameleon is the only reason I was able to get don't get spotted done. Um, let's see what we have here. We need one more medal to unlock the last of Act 2. So let's try and do that in Paradise Lane. We need to eliminate Blackjack, destroy all enemies. Hmm, and we've rescued the civilians. We could exit in 25 seconds or don't get spotted. That doesn't seem too hard. Maybe a little harder since we do have to eliminate an enemy without getting spotted, but... We'll, we'll try this normal mode, see how it goes. Exit in 25 seconds, which basically means we have to tramp all the way up to the upper left as quickly as possible. I should have brought my, uh, my quick legs. Daddy needs his fast legs. Go ahead and reload. A little bit more. And I was seen. That's okay. Blow my way through here. We've got... Not enough time to get back to the vehicle, I don't think. With the fast legs, it would have worked out. Unfortunately, nope. Gonna be just a couple seconds short. Well, that's okay. It happened from time to time. Let's uh, go ahead and switch up our cyberware, get the fast legs, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do this a bit better this time. As for the don't get spotted, the chameleon would be useful for that, but I'm not sure how I would do that with, uh, with somebody just basically waiting. Waiting to come and, come and find me. Oh god. We probably wasted too much time there. Oh well. Metal unseen. Fail. Alright. And I probably should hit that guy with the rockets from a bit further away. But, hindsight's 20-20. Gonna be a couple seconds off here, too. Damn. Same. 27. Because, uh... <laughs> that... That explosive that I hit didn't go off immediately. So you will find yourself playing missions repeatedly, trying to get that medal, but I do think that is, uh, one of the things that is good about this game. I enjoy it quite a bit, at least. There we go. Blast through there. Blast through the past. And let's fire this. All right, back, back, back. Oh my god, what a mess. We're almost there, we're almost there. I think we got it. Wonderfully done. Huzzah, 23 seconds, and we are out of there. Nice, so we get a thousand uh, dollar bonus. We'll continue to the map. Did we get anything new? Yes, new special. Micro missile shoots a guided micro missile that locks onto enemy targets. That might be better than the explosive missiles, but I'm not too bad at aiming the explosive missiles either. Uh, yeah, since I'm just shotgunning things, I, I only have to concentrate on where that missile is going. Ash Bay Nightclub? Hmm, let's see what it do. Eliminate the targets and don't get spotted. Exit in 30 seconds. We can probably eliminate the targets, maybe not get spotted. Um, let's, let's change up our judge just a little bit to help with that. We'll go Chameleon. Really, Shadow Blends kind of writes itself off once you have Chameleon. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I would like to see uh, a few more perks that make, uh, that don't get cancelled out by something that is better. 
Like, Shadow Blend is obviously inferior to Chameleon. You have to stay in the shadows for Shadow Blend to work. Chameleon, you just have to stand still. So it's pretty obvious which one is preferable. Uh, which means once you get Chameleon, Shadow Blend won't, won't be seen again. Regardless, here we are, Ash Bay Nightclub. We're gonna do some shit. Tell you what right now. God, there's a sentry over there. Let's uh, lure this fella out. Oh god. He's not being lured! Why isn't he being lured? Alright. I'm gonna come in here. You're not gonna like it when I come in here. And boom! Oh god. Did we get seen? I guess not. We've already failed the, uh, the timed aspect of this. But that's okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Here comes Shisha. Oh, wow. That is hurty. Get my rockets going. That'll do nicely. Here, I'll confiscate a little bit. Confiscate. Not confiscate. Oh, God. Everything's fine. Oh, I've been seen already. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm really low on health now, so I need to concentrate on getting some kills. There we go. Suck up some health with my little perk. And I'm out of uh, projectiles. That's unfortunate. Oh well. We can do it. We can still do it. I believe in us. There we go. Hey, I'm coming in here. Anybody in the bathroom? Nobody? Great. There we go. Come around the back. Where's the last target? I wasn't paying attention to the map. It does show you at the uh, very beginning before you start the stage where your targets are, where the hostages are. But unfortunately, I wasn't paying as good attention as I should have. Oh god. Whoa, buddy. That's what I need to save my rockets for. <sighs> okay. We could go around the uh, the long way. I think that might be the wise thing to do. And then I can just pick off the targets. Don't need to worry too much. Oh god. Took a little hit there. But it was just a little hit. No problem. And yeah, I'll save that target in the front for after I destroy this fucking thing. Oh my. This terrifying. And powerful. And how? Oh god. Come this way, laser drone. I'm gonna try and distract it, okay? I'll distract it. Come this way. Come on! Oh god, he's got guided rockets. That's not good. I did take a hit there. God damn it! Alright. Oh, wow. That was fucking crazy. Oh, okay, get back to vehicle. That was our only target, so I don't even need to worry about that guy in the front. Excellent. Another medal, complete. Huzzah! And I got an achievement, the Judgment Day, I guess for completing Act 2. So, good for me, good for me! This is Channel Here's Neon another little cutscene. Channel Neon is back. As the I judge said, initiative Ten Tons reports did, another uh, victory as the Chrome. game hotspot at the Ash Bay nightclub is dissolved. Yay! This is just the latest achievement for the initiative. The police reports criminal threat level is now the lowest since the May 15th event. Hell yeah. The crime-related incidents have definitely gone down. But some citizens are concerned about their safety near the judges. <laughs> Don't Do be scared, citizen! people should be afraid? Send us why mail Bye, this man. was Channel Neon, your trusted source of news. So I think it's really cool that this game takes place in kind of the same universe that Neon Chrome did. Wall Breaker, you can destroy walls and other breakable objects by running through them. Holy shit, that's awesome. I, I kind of want that. I kind of want that real bad. In order to get to uh, Act 3, I'll need at least 55 medals, so I'll be scraping through these past few missions, seeing what I can do with them. Uh, one of the ones that I really like is Shift Hospitality. So let's see uh, what we could do. Don't kill anyone. Did I keep my chameleon on? I think I did. 
I should have left Liam, Liam though, because Liam the laser drone is probably going to end up trying to kill somebody. That's not good. There he goes. Look at him. I fucked this up already. Mission fail. <laughs> well, I'll try and finish this level anyways, just to uh, get a bit of extra money. Oh god. Reload, reload. Back up. There we go. Did I kill? Hey, I killed! Sweet! I'm gonna hide from the officer. Oh god. Luckily got him. Piece of cake. This is a way you can kind of farm money, but it's not as efficient. Run to the exit. Get out of here! There we go. Citizens rescued. No problem. Hmm, and I'm not sure how to get through this door. I need a blue card key, but I've not found it quite yet. Let's go visit the auto dock. That should help me out a little bit. Hey, 11 HP. A bit less than I thought I'd get, but I guess that's because of my killing heals and things like that. The vampirism perk on my gun is quite nice. So I should try that again without killing anyone. I know it's going to be a bit difficult. Um, we'll get rid of Liam the laser drone. I've got my chameleon. I will install wall breaker. Hopefully that's going to be a helpful thing. <laughs> hey, why did that wall come down? Oh, it's just a chameleon dude. It's just a dude that's a chameleon. Also, two as well. So now I don't have to shoot the walls to break them. Look at that, that's fucking awesome. Just run into stuff and break the shit out of it. Hail Judge! Hail Judge Dread! Alright, so try to be sneaky. There we go. Invisibleness. They can't see me when I'm chameleon, but they can uh, path into me quite easily. And then I'm pretty fucked. Oh boy. Invisible. Can't find me. Ha ha ha. I killed nobody. Alright, so that guy shouldn't path into me either, unless he's headed for this door. There we go. One step at a time. Go, citizen. Go! They're gonna shoot the citizens. Oh god. They got one. That is gonna be a really difficult one to complete. I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. Interesting, to say the least. Hmm, let's see what the Hardcore Double Bay Ash Bay Nightclub is. And then uh, I'll call it, win or lose, I'm going to call it after this one. Kill all enemies within 60 seconds, eliminate the targets. We can definitely get eliminate the targets. I don't know about not taking any damage or any of that shit. I'll do my best, how about? How about that? Here we go. Boom! It is me, the judge! Everyone bow before my might! Oh, untouched, fail. There we go, a little bit of reload. And lots of money. That's what I like, lots of money. Definitely not gonna kill all enemies within 60 seconds. Oop, oop, oop. How about this? There we go. Ha ha ha! That chameleon is extremely useful. Stop moving, enemies lose track of you. And then they're just kind of pathing around brainlessly. Hmm. About this guy. And that one! Hell yeah. I get you real good. You didn't know how good I was gonna get you until I got you. Kill all enemies failed. Oh, okay. I guess we suck. I'll just go get the target. I shouldn't have wasted my missiles, because I know I'm gonna need them for this, this big badass. The big bad! Oh god. Jesus Christ! I might not even get to the big bad. Alright. There we go. Confiscate a little more money. Get to keep it, even if you fail the mission, as I think I mentioned, so... Why not? 
as we say here. Alright. I just like walking into shit. Oh god! I... <laughs> Don't walk into the explosive barrels. <sighs> I guess that's what we come away with. Oh my god. This game is fucking awesome, you guys. Uh, you can check it out on Steam. You can check it out on PlayStation 4. Whichever you prefer. It's quite nice on the, uh, the controller. I personally prefer the mouse and keyboard just because aiming is a little bit easier for me uh, with, with that setup. Thanks so much to Ten Ten Limited for letting me know that this game existed, distributing a key to me, and I, I'm really just blown away. I'll probably be playing this a lot more. I've put in about three or four hours just getting to this point, and there is surely a lot more fun to be wrought. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this game. I think it's $15, and I think it's pretty well worth the price. Might want to wait for a sale, I don't know. I, I wouldn't hesitate to spend $10. If it's below $10, definitely snatch it up. Uh, right now I think it's on sale on the PlayStation Store for $12, which isn't too bad, 20% off. So um, yeah, you might want to run out and grab it, especially if it looks like something that you enjoy. Especially if you enjoy top-down shooters. I personally really like Redye, Hotline Miami, uh, Neon Chrome. <laughs> definitely, uh, a good track record for this company so far so two thumbs up to 10 tons limited <laughs> i hope that you guys will like comment and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode friends i've been brandon dayton your humble narrator and i hope to see you in the next one whatever we decide to do next if you want to see more of this one let me know i'd be happy to bring it to you and until the next time friends bye bye one two Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.